Hello, I'm Addison Davis, Superintendent of Schools, and I'm at Orange Park High School for this episode of Diving In With Davis. On this episode, we'll go visit our health science programs at Orange Park Senior High School, where we get a chance to look at our certified nursing assistants, along with our emergency medical responses. So let's go see how our children are being prepared to be able to go into the health profession. Let's go. Okay, here we are at Orange Park Senior High School in the CNA classroom. So I'm here with Dakota and Malia. So what's going on right now, uh, you know, within this class, and what are you working on? Right now, I'm performing hand care on Malia, um, where I have to wash the hands and the nails. Then with an orange stick and emery board, I have to get up under the nails, clean out any dirt, and then file down her nails as well. Okay, and, and why is this important to do within this class? Um, well, within the class, it teaches us, but in the medical field, it helps promote it helps promote hygiene, keep their hands clean, and some of the patients really just like it. It's a nice um, courtesy to do for them. What's next after Orange Park High School for this program? Um, I plan to go to college to um, possibly end up doing what I want to do in life, which is a neonatal physician, which is the NICU doctor. Um, so hopefully being able to use my certification in uh, CNA um, to help me learn more and go to college. And awesome. Well, well, thank you all again. And, and it's all about getting the, the right exposure and having the right teacher do some of the greatest things. And here today we have Miss Fields. <laughs> and uh, she does great things for this program. Last year, 30 industry certifications accomplished yeah. through your leadership. We know that this is a field that you truly have passion for. How is this going to help our children down the road? Well, our students have so many opportunities through the Health Academy. We start our students at the ninth grade, teaching them employability skills. Um, we help them obtain industry certifications, like you said, but they're also first aid CPR certified. Awesome. They spend many, many hours in the hospitals um, in senior year from September through February. We spend two days a week in the hospital. They also do mock interviews through our business partners. Um, we also get them scholarships. If they're in this program for three years and they're a completer, they're eligible for the Gold Seal Scholarship through the state of Florida. So there are so many opportunities that our students are able to achieve while being in this program. One of the biggest ones for me is some students aren't going to college, right. but they need an employability skill as soon as sure. they graduate. So our students ha can get a job right out of high school and they can, um, it can be su sustainable or they can go to college and complete further degrees or whatever yeah. they need to do. Thank you so very much. Uh, as you see, you know, the CNA program is well and alive at, at Orange Park High School. We're going to go next door. We get to check, check out uh, Mr. Ramos and he's got the emergency medical response uh, uh, initiative. So let's go see what he's doing next door. And here we are in the second half of the health science program at Orange Park High School. We came from the CNA program, now we're at the emergency medical response program here. And I have Rod Lear here with us today at Orange Park High School. Rod Lear, talk about, you know, what is this? What do we have set up here and how's this, you know, what's going on? Okay, so this right here is a demonstration of, of a spider, okay. spider strap. This right here, this will usually be used, for instance, if, uh, if the patient needs to be uh, kind of like strapped down. It's more secure. Okay. So basically, if we was in a tight space or an elevator, we need to lift him up. This will hold the patient down so the patient won't move or fall. Um, they have multiple straps all over the body. The, you always start with the leg first. Sure. Where you, where you work your way up, up okay. to the top right here. Okay. You usually have someone to help you out, a second, a second partner to help you out. Um, this uh, makes it easier for well, it makes it easier for both of y'all to get the job done. Gotcha, stability. So, you know, really neat concept and, uh, you know, being really careful with the patients as we get them to a part where we can get them to medical assistance. H how has this class helped you? Um, this class is basically like, it basically prepares me for my future so that once I, once I want to do what I want to do, it helps me. Like, I, have, I already have the knowledge of what to do. Yeah. So if I'm like putting this type of um, position, uh, I'll be like, I won't get stuck or freeze up. I'll know instantly what to do, how right. to, to do it. You keep working hard. I know you're a senior and you're, and you're on your way. Uh, work hard for this assessment and continue to, to be dedicated to this program. I'm going to go here to Crystal now. Crystal, you know, what, what, what do we have uh, here? We have an infant and, and what are you working on? Yes, um, I am working on reassessing the infant's airway. Okay. And I'm going to put the oral 
phalangeal airway in. So I'll put, oh, sorry, I'll put it in right here. So I'll hold the baby's tongue back and everything, and then I'll go 180, and then I'll put it right in here. And then I put this over the baby's mouth, and you wanna make sure that you don't have like any gaps open or anything. You wanna make sure that it's very pressed on there, and then you see the baby's chest rise, so that's what you wanna watch for. You don't wanna go too hard, cause you don't wanna, you know, explode. Sure. <laughs> so you don't wanna, um, Sure, and, and how has this class helped you with the knowledge and the skill set you, um, you'll need to, for after Orange Bark? Well, I think that this is really preparing us for the future because once we start working with Liberty, we'll be prepared. We won't get stuck, we won't freeze, we'll know what to do, and plus we'll have a partner to help us. Awesome. Awesome. Well, well, thank you. Continue to stay connected to this. We'll go over here to one of the greatest instructors that we have in Clay County. Be beautiful connections. His ability to bring, you know, partners in, advisory boards in, and to be able to set up at such a lab such as this. This is Mr. Ramos. Thank you for what thank you do, you. sir. Thank you for coming. And, uh, you know, you know, Chris was just talked about liberty. And uh, so talk a little bit about what does Liberty offer us? What is a, what's that partnership look like for our children? Okay, um, this lab is named after the Liberty, so that's why we have the logo up there for Liberty Ambulance. Um, they provide scholarship for the students, um, including the job. Our last graduate is uh, Mr. Sanchez, and he's the dispatcher for Liberty wow. Ambulance currently right Good. now. Also, we're in the process of getting an ambulance from them. Oh, wow, that'd be really so, awesome. So um, the, the goal is we're transitioning from doing the lab simulation. For example, we have the dialysis center, we have the ER, we have the doctor's office. So right now what the student do is scenario based. We give them a call, Raider one, they go to pick up Grandma Chase. Take the stretcher, the equipment, the oxygen, they already know the medical math of how to do the, how long the tank is gonna last. Go outside, write the report. Come back inside, give the ER, and then give the report to the nurse of what needs to be done. And all this is to prepare them to work in the back of the Liberty Ambulance so that way they have future jobs at EMTs and paramedic. Liberty also provides a scholarship. Healthcare, it's a major field. We've got to get more children excited about it. I agree. You are doing just that. We thank you for your leadership. We thank you for continuing to help our children, you know, reach their aspirations and reach their full potential. So we appreciate it. Thanks thank for, for everything you do for our, for our children. You see it here. Orange Park High School continues to have great instructors, great students, great experiences, great internships and externships and avail availability to, to have scholarships to go into the medical health science field. So, uh, you know, look forward to uh, anybody visiting, look forward to, to greater business partnerships because this is a great place where teachers can, can, can teach and students can learn. Look forward to seeing you soon.